this is squash and to be honest at first I was like ooh I don't know how this looks on me I have never worn an orange lipstick before so I was a little bit on the fence but after I kind of warmed up to it I kind of decided that ooh, I guess I do like it it is a lot different than what I'm used to but I think for the season it's really pretty and I think they did a really good job of doing a nice fall appropriate orange it's not too fluorescent I think it would flatter most skin tones but I will say I was super nervous when I decided to get it like I've never tried an orange lipstick before and you know with me ordering it online I can't even try it on before I purchase it so I really took a risk with this a $20 risk and I guess it kind of paid off. I don't know how often I'm going to wear it, but I do like it for the season. And when you apply it, make sure to do a thin layer and let it set and then apply the second layer. Me, the first time I did it, I was very impatient and kept layering it on my lips. And then when I would like do that, it would grab product from the top and bottom of my lips and then it would pretty much just take it away. So I had patches of bare lips exposed and it was really frustrating so I kind of just found a better technique to apply it better and I think it looks so much nicer now it does like slightly um, it does show the lines on my lips but it doesn't bug me too too much I feel like for some people it might especially if you tend to have drier lips I would definitely be careful and moisturize heavily beforehand So this is Jinx, the other lipstick that came out in their Halloween collection. I don't know if it's officially a Halloween collection, but the most recent collection that they came out with. And I have to say I'm in love with this lipstick. I am all about dark purples and this one is no exception. Just from the color, but also just the formula of it, I found that I only had to do like one or two layers. It doesn't feel like I have this heavy, dry gross thing on my lips. It feels literally weightless, which is kind of part of the big reason why I love Velveteen so much is the formula. They're, they're second to none. Like I own a lot of liquid to mattes, but Lime Crime Velveteens will always be my favorite as far as formula goes. And this one just, it just does everything for me as far as texture, color, packaging. I will always adore Lime Crime's packaging. I don't really have anything negative to say about it. It just applied super easily. It doesn't need a lip liner. I mean, you could totally still use one. I probably will use Night Moth with this to kind of just give it some dimension. But other than that, like, this is an A plus in my book. And not to say squash wasn't terrible either. This is just something I would feel comfortable wearing all the time. I wouldn't second guess myself wearing this lipstick because it just it looks bomb like literally I love it <laughs> so I think you guys should definitely get this one if you're looking for a nice liquid to matte purple and again it's called Jinx so get this one well I hope you guys like that quick mini try on and review I wanted to get this out as soon as possible since these velveteens just came out not even a month ago so definitely let me know which one you guys liked better and I hope you guys are having an awesome date and I'll see you guys really soon